hi guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how to make ankara bucket hat i'm making yours of two types of ankara fabric because the bucket hat will be a reversible one so we're making use of these two ankara fabric i'm using this cardboard paper as a pattern and tape them. so we'll start with the brim with the brim of the bucket hat first just put your paper at any edge of your cardboard paper and measure 8 inches. I'm going to measure 8 inches round. Just keep turning your paper like this and you're going to connect all the dots together. So guys, this is the 8 inches. I've connected the lines together. So from this point now, you will measure 3.5 inches this way. And from here, measure half inch. This half inch I am measuring here. I'm going to use it to, to join like sewing allowance. So I'm measuring three inches from here now. Three and a half inches rather. So my you can see where my tape is. My tape is on three and a half inches here, and I'm marking half inch in here. After which I'll connect the dots together. We can now join this other line as well. So after joining, you can use your scissors and trim it out. Start cutting from this half inch here. So this will be the brim of our bucket part. Guys, this is what I have. to get the mid parts of our bucket at you measure this upper part this way and this is 12 inches so on your cardboard paper measure 12 inches this way Inches. You can ruin it, ruin a straight line. Then from for the weeks now. You measure 3.5 inches. Okay, so the bra start measuring 3.5 inches. Hope you are seeing what I'm doing. Measuring 3.5 inches. When you are done measuring your three points, you can now connect these roots. A straight line. Now join your dots together. Now join this part. So. So 
So you measure this. Measure inside what you have. So that we'll get the middle. This is 12 inches. And the middle will be 6 inches. Draw a straight line there also. Then from this point now, this middle line come in by half half inch. This is half inch here. Then here also come in by half inch. Also. Then this point here go up by half inch. And this point also go up by half inch. This point also go up by half inch. And this point go up by half inch. Then from here, half inch again from this line now. This half inch line now. We measure half inch this way. And from here also measure half inch in. And this half inch from here, half inch from here, half inch. Then this part measure half inch down. Half inch down. So we are going to connect your dots now. Now the way I'm connecting because I don't want this side of our heart to be to be straight. That was the reason for all these dots I marked. So this to come this way. This will also come this way. Then you can now roll this part. I see our new our new line. Then join this part also. So this is what I'll be cutting out now. This new dots just join together because i don't want the side of the art to be straight so i had to this is what i'll trace out now i hope you understand For the top part, measure this part here, yeah, the upper part. This is 11 and a half inches. So you divide 11 and a half inches by 3. You should have 3 points. 8 inches that is what we are going to cut for the top part that is the round part now so just make like a cross this way Do another line 
have to make like a cross line so we start measuring that it's 3.8 inches place your tape on this middle line and start marking your 3.8 your 3.8 inches will be this is three and a half inches then when you count one two this is your 3.8 inches before four inches then you start marking mark it round and connect your your dots to form a circle So after marking 3.8 inches, I just connected all the dots together and I will call this top. This will be the top part of our bucket hat. This will be the top part. This will be the middle part and this will be the brim. We are going to cut this part out on these two Ankara fabric. Let's start with this one. This is the brim part. Use your pin to pin it so it will not shift. This Ankara fabric is on fold. We are going to cut two of this. So just trace your pattern out from your Ankara fabric. So this is for the brain. This is two pieces. We're going to join this here and join this here. So we'll cut. So this is for the the side. Now this entire fabric is on fold. We'll cut two pieces of this. As well, just trace your pattern out the same way we did for the brain. So guys, I've also traced the side of our bucket hat. This is two and carat fabric. So now it's remaining the top part. This top part, you just trace it out once. You can use your pin to pin it down. When you are done pinning, just trace this circle out from your carat fabric. So guys, I've traced out the top part and this is the pattern for this particular Ankara fabric and I'm still going to use this same pattern to cut the same thing on this Ankara fabric also so guys I've also cut out this Ankara fabric so now you pick this and you join it together join the edges together do the same join here and join here then you do the same for this part so guys i have stitched this side i've also stitched this and i've also stitched this part too so let's start with this this is the side of our pocket hat and the top part you can turn it then turn your top to the wrong side wrong side facing wrong side and you start to pin start pinning from this edge so i have pinned the top part you also pin the brim too this is wrong side wrong side facing wrong side so you match this part to this part and start pinning so i have also pinned the brim so what you will do now is sew this part stitch it round and stitch this brim part too round Pin this other Ankara fabric the same way I just pinned this one and stitch it round also. So guys, I have stitched this. You can see. 
and I tried to join the site to the same thing and I did the same for this so I'll turn it to the right side and I'll also turn this to the right side so now this is the right side hmm? mm -hmm. right side facing right side turn this this is right side of this turn this this way so right side facing right side this is the wrong side outside this is the wrong side inside we are going to stitch make sure this this line is aligning with this line as well so we are going to stitch it round so i'll go to my sewing machine and stitch and you leave two inches opening where we will turn inside out from don't sew these two inches opening don't sew here don't sew here you can sew the rest part of the pocket up so guys i have stitched around as you can see and i left this two inches open so we'll turn from this piece here i'll turn it inside out so guys i've turned it inside out you can see what our bucket at look like so this two inches space now fold it and use your hot iron to iron it iron both the front and the back so i will go and iron now so guys i have ironed our bucket i can see how neat is looking now i ironed both the inside you can just place it this way and press it then turn it back and still press this side too then for our two inches i left open this two this space here i folded it in and i ironed it too so we are going to stitch around we're just going to make circular stitch and to cover this brim you, your first stitch will be here just on this line here around then the next stitch half an inch around two the next stitch half an inch half an inch half an inch just stitch make circular stitch till you get to the top of the brim so i'll go to my sewing machine and do that now so guys i'm done stitching around i hope you can see that. so this is what our bucket art look like you can decide to wear it on this entire fabric part or you turn it to this part this measurement i use is a free size if your head circumference is 22 23 24 this measurement i use should be fine for you so guys this is the finish of our para pockets